leaves are falling, pumpkin spice lattes are brewing, and my clothes are fucking layering again. This is 100% a first world problem, but I was getting so sick of having to choose between either wearing a t-shirt or shorts every day, or fucking dying. In honor of being able to wear actual clothes again, here is the stuff I'm wearing this fall to go to the grocery store by myself to have any semblance of social interaction with another human being. Fall is the official season of the denim jacket. They actually go with everything. Throw it over a white tee to look like a basic hoe. Throw it over a turtleneck to look like budget Drake. Throw it over a nice sweater to look like grandma's favorite grandchild. Denim jackets just go with so many different looks. Plus, high quality denim does not have to be expensive. You can find some amazing denim jackets secondhand. I picked up this bad boy, this vintage Tommy Hilfiger denim jacket during my senior year of high school for about $26 off of eBay. And it is holding up really, really well. To this day, it's my favorite denim jacket. It's also my only denim jacket. So I guess by extension, it's also my least favorite denim jacket. Anyways, a good denim jacket is the perfect item for the fall. Okay, I'm not saying you should rock a Canadian tuxedo 24-7, but I'm not saying that you shouldn't either, because it's kind of a look. Justin Timberlake in 2001 was onto something. Maybe LSD, but, but still. Jokes aside, a comfy pair of baggy jeans is crucial. It's a step up from sweatpants, and when the jeans get more and more worn in, they're nearly as comfortable. But the perfect jean is a lifelong search. Even this pair I'm wearing right now is a little too big on the waist, but the way it fits in the legs is perfect. So it's a trade-off that I'm more than happy to make. If I were you, I would just browse every single thrift shop I can find until you find that pair of jeans. Also, as it gets colder and you add more layers, the size of your silhouette up top gets bigger and bigger. This is why the fit matters. The baggier the jeans, the more it balances out the rest of your silhouette. This advice applies to pants in general. I've been on the wide pants train for a while now and I'm absolutely loving it. So I have to say, get some baggy pants. It'll make you look a lot less like Gru. Let's be honest, doesn't matter if you're back at school or if you're working a job remotely, you're gonna spend a good amount of time withering away in a Zoom call. And if I'm withering away, I'm withering away in a fucking sweatshirt. A sweatshirt is like a t-shirt that goes through a messy divorce and decided to drown their sorrows by hating the gym and abusing steroids, but deep down, they still know that they're the same person. They're bigger, they're thicker, they have a little more substance of use. In the end, they're still the same every day, easy to throw on option, just like a t-shirt in the summer. Especially since we're going to be lounging around the house a ton this fall, staying comfortable is such a priority. I cannot think of anything that is as loungeable, is that, is that a word? As loungeable as a sweatshirt. It's actually a pair made in heaven. Sweatshirts chilling inside in the fall. Even if you go outside, not relatable, haha, <laughs> dab. Even outside, it's getting a little chilly. I was a touch cold going outside today. And the added material of a sweatshirt really does help fend that coldness off. As a little bonus, we'll throw hoodies in the category as well. They're pretty much the same thing, right? It's a hooded sweatshirt. We're also getting dangerously close to cuffing season. So if you're a dude, just have a nice oversized hoodie just in case. When I think fall, I think vintage clothing. There's something so cute about wearing a vintage shirt, drinking coffee in a little cafe as the leaves fall. I got this vintage Fleetwood Mac shirt off of eBay. I love the little accent pops of color and the gorgeous fade of this shirt. It's pretty wide because it's an XL, but it's still cropped in the body, so it actually fits perfectly. And if you're not familiar, a landslide is a fucking banger. 
One of the reasons why vintage works so well during this season is because of the colors associated with vintage clothing. As we move into the fall, we get to transition into that darker, more faded type of style. So stuff like washed blacks, earthy tones, browns and greens, etc. They all work so well. Last but not least, we are wearing masks this fall. If you're trying to not die, you're already wearing a mask. But I also think they look pretty sick as a fashion accessory. I'm personally a big fan of the blue surgical masks. These are the ones I wear all the time. I have them in the car and all around the house. I like the aesthetic of these. It lets me pretend that I'm the doctor that my parents always wanted me to be. But, but that being said, a black mask will also look really good with this outfit because, you know, all black is never not a vibe. Unfortunately, I don't own a black mask. I don't own cloth masks in general, and I'm not going to buy one, so I'll just throw up some examples. Boom, boom, boom. These are all sick because ha, sick because they're kind of they kind of just make you look like a sleek tech ninja. Regardless, just find a mask that works for you and wear it. Since my last video, I've been working super hard on improving on editing, improving my filming. So hopefully, all of that work has shown in this video. So whether it has or not, any critique, anything is welcome. So thank you.